Let's move on to some uh, bull market or BS, a game that we like to play here on the desk. Joining us for the game is Peter Schiff, Europe Pacific Capital President, author of the new book Crash Proof 2.0, How to Profit from the Economic Collapse, as well as a senatorial candidate now. Now, Peter, I know that uh, you listened to our conversation with uh, the big sir out in Chicago about Rubini's comments, and that kind of got you all fired up. What do you have to say about that? Well, first of all, the U.S. economy is not recovering from anything. It's actually getting sicker. So it's not going to be a W. It's not going to be a V. It's not going to be a U. It's not. It, it, it's nothing. There is no letter to describe it because there is no recovery. But you know, there is a lot of inflation. You know, you're talking about what's happening in the market. The market is rising as a consequence of inflation. Nothing else. Right, Peter. When you say that the, the economy is not recovering from anything, how do you describe them? An ISM at a 32 trough back in December that's now showing expansion in the marketplace above 50. No, because what we're doing is we're doing more of the prop, the same that, of what got us into this mess. We are spending more cheap money, uh, courtesy of the Fed. We're going deeper into debt to buy more stuff that we can't afford. And as we're spending this borrowed money, it makes the GDP go up. But look at the debt that we're accumulating to finance that. It ends in disaster. We are just digging the hole deeper. We are doing nothing to fill it back up. All right, Peter, I want to get back on the rails. I uh, really asked you about the reason why you're here, not just to talk about the economy, but also you've actually uh, turned positive or you are positive on an actual uh, stock, which is well, <laughs> almost shocking I to didn't, me. <laughs> I didn't turn positive. I've been buying stocks for years. You know, I've been buying foreign stocks and commodities for over 10 years. I never stopped. All right, so which is the uh, big ag name that you like right now? Well, you mentioned Potash just a minute ago. I own that myself. I like that one. I have another one that's similar that I own in my own account is a Norwegian company, Yara International, that trades here. Look, if you want to make money as an investor, right now the name of the game is find out what the Chinese are going to buy and buy it first. They're going to buy a lot of commodities. Their whole population, the emerging markets, not just China, are going to start living higher standards of living. They're going to start consuming more. We're going to start consuming a lot less. Somebody just mentioned Walmart sell world walmart because walmart's not going to be able to import all these cheap goods from china anymore pretty soon going into walmart's going to be go like going into Saks fifth avenue they're not going to be able to have all these everyday low prices anymore so you you, you want to move into these stocks and these agriculture stocks fertilizer companies any of the major exporters that are going to be feeding into the growing chinese consumer that's where you want to be credit swiss today talked about syngenta is that a name you're looking at as well in the ag space peter i, I own it i own it in my personal account um yeah i mean i like like the stock. I've owned it for years. Pete, were you able to see the Mosaic report? And if so, what did you think about that? Well, I didn't get to read it. I heard that they missed. I don't own Mosaic, so I don't know as much about it as some of the stocks that I do own. Uh, but it's look, it's in the right sector. You know, it's in the right business. I mean, so at least that's where you need to be. I mean, you have to understand the dynamics, what's going on. Unfortunately, the U.S. economy is in a lot of trouble. It's in much more trouble because of the stimulus and the bailouts, because we're going to get a quarter or two of positive GDP numbers. That is making the situation much worse. So you've got to understand that. And you can't be fooled uh, by rising stock prices and realizing that what's happening is the dollar that we're using to measure our stock prices is losing value. You. That's what's going on. It's not stocks going right. up. It's the dollar going down. And it's the expectation of the dollar going a lot lower in the future. Got it, Peter. Thanks so much for your time. Peter Schiff. Sure.